Welcome to Lesson 3B of ATC Pro. This lesson will explain the Display Control Bar, or DCB. When you start a controlling session, you will see a green bar of buttons along the top of the scope, known as the Display Control Bar, or DCB. The DCB allows you a way to adjust many functions on the scope. I will demonstrate the most commonly used ones and you can explore from there. Starting on the left side, if you click on the Range button and roll the mouse wheel while keeping the pointer on the button, it will zoom the scope in and out. Click the button again to lock it in. The Place Center and Off Center button allows you to center the view on your control sector boundaries or other area of interest and zoom in for the highest level of detail. The RR button allows you to use your mouse wheel to increase or decrease the interval of range rings that are centered on the main airport as a distance or separation guide. Place RR or RR center allows you to change the center of the range rings as desired. The Maps button brings up a full bar submenu with other menu options. Clicking on any numbered map turns the display of the map overlay on or off. Any or all maps can be turned on at the same time. These are the real video maps that controllers use. Experiment with displaying any of the maps that seem useful. On the far right side, click on the Approach button to see all the approaches to airports in the facility. Click on an airport button and you will see the available approaches for the runways. Click on the ARRDEP button to see all the arrival and departure routes in the facility. Click on an airport button and you will see the available routes for arrivals and departures. Click on airspace button to see all the airspace sectors in the facility. Note that the center sector map will be on the main map page. Click on the main button to get back to the main page. Click on the done button to get back to the top level DCB bar. The six map buttons are for the most used maps and correspond to the numbered buttons on the upper far right display control panel. The WX buttons display any weather activity on radar of the numbered levels of intensity, with one being the least dense and six being the most dense. For anything to be displayed, you must have downloaded and selected real-world weather and there must be some current weather activity in the facility. I will skip over the next few buttons and mention that there will be a separate lesson for Pref Default button. With this menu, you can save your settings and lay out on the scope to named presets and switch to them as desired. The Shift button displays another full bar of buttons. On this button bar, you may want to click on the buttons to change the DCB location on the scope, especially if you're using a laptop. To turn the DCB off or on altogether, press the F1 key. There's a function lock key or F lock that needs to be on to be able to do this. That's all for now on using the DCB. The next lesson, 3C, will describe the COM panel and how radio frequencies are selected.